Hi, my name is Robin. I did a bunch of videos on my breast implants um, when I after I had them out in 2013. It is almost 2016 and I'm not fully recovered, but this is my update. Um, I'm pretty healthy now. I don't have the heart problems that I had before. I don't have um, the neurological problems or shaking or a disassociation with my right side that I had before. Uh, I wanted to do a, an update video so many times on, I'd remember some weird symptom and think maybe this could help somebody out. Maybe they'd see it and go, oh my God, that's me. And um, I just, just can't bring myself to because everything just, it's always evolving. The, the recovery process has been evolving and I finally feel like I'm at a very stable phase of this recovery. The first year was uh, very much about detox and um, living, getting through it and being alive. And the, uh, the following year was about kind of like me pushing my boundaries and seeing what can I have? Can I use that lotion? Can I use that makeup? Can I eat that salad dressing? And um, a lot of trial and error. <laughs> Without, without getting too sick and, you know, slipping back into what happened before. Um, and now I'm kind of stable. I'm, I, I've actually been, uh, been going to school in the healthcare field, and I intend to stay in school for a long time and learn as much as I can learn and see who, if I can help anyone. That would be great. Um, what else? Okay, so weird symptoms. A couple off the top of my head. Uh, when I was sick, very sick, <clears throat> I used to get into the bathtub and I would turn the water like an orangey brown. Okay, and I wasn't filthy. Uh, even if I had just bathed, I would still discolor the water and it would start to billow out from my body. I could see it like around my legs and around, around my hips and then the water, would, if you swish it around, then the entire bath was discolored brown. So I tried wash my hands really, really good, and I put them in a white porcelain sink full of clean water, and within moments the water was orange. I did not know at the time, and I'd show my friends and my family, and they were just you know, befuddled, for lack of a better word. And uh, now I know that because silicon is a metalloid, and the breast implants they have platinum and titanium. And um, I can't remember what there's there's a whole there's a whole list of different metals and metalloids in the breast implants, but basically I I was full of rust is how I can describe it is that I was rusting um, things oh and here's another one when I had an MRI the MRI was extremely extremely painful for me so. I remember laying in the MRI and feeling like I was being sliced into a thousand pieces. This is probably because my body was like magnetic. Oh yeah, set off all the, the security alarms and couldn't go to um, an airport and walk through without setting off all the metal detectors. Like my whole body was insanely full of metal. It, it took well over a year to even feel kind of normal cognitively like my brain was just <laughs> so punched from from we describe it as putting a, a fork in a toaster right your brain's elect, electric field works on electric pulses and uh, you feel the metal so I don't know layman's terms right this this is how I describe it because it's crap it's uh, how I think of it so in school now and uh, I felt moved to make this video today because we are studying end of life care and oh, ew. it just the entire time in class they were talking about people being at the end of their life and the decisions that they make and the way that they feel I know exactly what that feels like without a moment of doubt. I say goodbye to everybody.
I felt I went through the stages of grieving my own life. And I didn't get any help from outside of my friends and family. I mean, I, I didn't get any uh, help from professionals because of this illness being denied for the most part. At that point, by medical professionals, it was there were few and far between that had any understanding or knowledge. Now there, it's a little more prevalent. And I think that's with women, you know, making videos and going to the doctor with information from women that made videos and saying, look, this is happening to me. And the list just keeps growing of all these lovely, beautiful people that have been so injured, they harmed. Anyways, it really came to the forefront with me today talking about end of life because I remember the end of my life and I remember the beginning of my life now after the breast explant surgery. There's not a doubt in my, in my mind that I went through every stage of, of dying except for dying. And I don't know how, how or why I'm alive because there's no way I should have survived what I survived. And when I think back on it and I think about the immense amount of physical pain that I endured and this the my heart stopping and the seizures and not being able to walk and waking up in the morning and my bones and my joints were so stiff that I couldn't stand and spending so long like that and there's so many women like that anyways I think that I have a kinship or an understanding with people who are dying because I know that I went through hell, but I got to come out on the other side. So there is life after implants, there is life after detox. You know, it's hard because I still have, I still have bad days, to tell you the truth. Like I, they're so few and far between though, I, and they're not anywhere near when I was sick. When I was sick, they were bad days, you know, days where you said goodbye to your family because you couldn't get your heart to beat right and you, you couldn't even walk. Like, I mean, couldn't see. Anyway, this is my update video. I am doing much better. I am still around. I am on all of the Facebook groups. You'll see me there. It says Residency. That's me. If you have any questions, don't don't hesitate to ask. Feel free to ask me anything. And if I know, I'll answer you. And if I don't know, I'll tell you I don't know. But we're going to be okay. I'm okay. And we're going to be okay. Thanks for listening.